I feel the need to point out that I have now seen the exact same McDonald's ad at least 50 times in a row. And you gotta wonder, like, McDonald's, why are you wasting so much money on advertising? Like, everyone has heard of McDonald's. Everyone has eaten McDonald's. I would rather put a blobfish in my butt than put McDonald's in my mouth. What's up, guys? Welcome to Blobfish Evolution. A game about an adorable little blobfish who kicks the crap out of his own kind. Generation 1, 2 foot 3, 21 pounds. In a time before the exploits of men, there lived a blobfish unlike the rest. There was an inexplicable mutation. This mutation haunts our blobfish with a carnal hunger to absorb his fellow blobfish. What shall he become? Will he grow towards evil or good? I do not know, but I wish the best for him. This is a game that Matt Shea found on the Play Store, and as soon as I saw that it was both hand-drawn and really weird, I knew I had to check it out. So, I'm sorry, am I boring you? I I'm trying to figure out why you just sucker-punched another fish and then decided to absorb it into your butt. Yes, that is the reaction that I'm having right now. You just absorbed something as big as you into your own butthole. Evolution is weird, man, I'm telling you. So what's our goal here, to be the biggest fish in the pond? Let's go ahead and put everything in our butts, and then just like that, we're the last man standing. That's evolution for you. Um... Oh! Oh! <laughs> No, that's evolution for you. I, I, I'm sorry, man. I don't even know what you were. W what just happened? Hold on. Let me open up my blobfish Pokedex. Wait, so he's still generation one, but now he's level two. Four foot 11, 157 pounds. Jesus Christ. Oh my. Look at the legs blobfish has grown. Oh yeah, now he can actually kick the crap out of his own kind. And that's not all, he's also mastered the human language. <laughs> you could tell by his face he's full of himself and takes pleasure in absorbing his lesser blobfish compatriots. Yet, for all this progress, he's insecure about the size of his fins and is skittish about a mysterious something that he can sense but not yet see. What force keeps blobfish up at night? Okay, that's a good question. He seems kind of bored, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, mm, that's the English language, the human language that you've learned, and oh, oh, that is not, what do you mean, what? You just kicked a fish and then absorbed it into your dick hole. Come on, dude. I'm sorry, I gotta judge you just a little bit. There's no one left for you to kick. I don't know what to tell you, just, just hang out and float and wait for them to respawn, I guess? Weird. Oh, oh, here we go. Don't want to wait for fish to refresh? Oh, you have got to be kidding me. I need to watch an ad every time I want 20 fish to spawn. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 blobfish. What do you mean, what? We just watched an ad with a promise of 20 blobfish, and we were given 10 blobfish! We were ripped off on the open blobfish market! There has to be a way that I can buy blobfish, right? I don't need to sit here all day watching ads. Ad free! There we go. Failed to query IAP. Are you connected to the internet? I just watched the longest ad of my life, so I'd hope so. If any of you guys have information pertinent to who robbed the blob, now would be the time to speak up. You're not gonna get any chance after I kick you in the face and shove you in my pee hole. Okay, that's just the way evolution works, I suppose. <laughs> so I've gone from being a regular blobfish, and let's be honest, blobfish are not exactly regular, to uh, tiny fins, a six pack, and pretty human looking legs. I'm honestly afraid to see what comes next. <laughs> no, I don't wanna watch another ad. Oh, wait. Yeah, you know what? We'll just sit down. Sit, there you go, Papa Squat. We're just gonna hopefully find some friends. The way he swims around makes me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> I mean, not nearly as uncomfortable as getting kicked in the face, but still, a little bit uncomfortable. Now what? 
<laughs> Come on, please be weird. Be even weirder. That's what I really want in. Oh, why? <gasps> why me? I'm wondering the exact same thing, my friend. Uh, okay, let's see what the Fisher deck says to say. Level three is six foot nine, 378 pounds. Dear me, our blobfish no longer feels inadequacy or apprehension. All he feels now is resentment and scorn for his meager position in the deep sea. He is blind with rage to the amazing progress he's made, and his attacks have become largely automatic. I fear he may lose himself at this rate. Lose what part of himself? Like, he's just walking around slapping fish and throwing them into his guts. It's like a blobfish and the Hulk had some kind of terrifying baby. Oh no, and now he needs a hundred blobfish inside of him to evolve? Oh, yeah, why, why me? Why us? I don't think all these blobfish are settling all too well. Well, I don't know, man. Maybe just stop shoving live fish into your body. I, I can't imagine they're all too pleased in there right now. First you knock them out, then you shove them in. And then before you know it, you'll evolve to be a big, strong, fishy boy. You're already kind of terrifying the way he swims around. It, it, it again, it makes me uncomfortable. That's what I like about this game, come to think of it. Everything makes me uncomfortable. The fact that he has a face on his chest and no head on his shoulders, die. There must be a blobfish rave going on in your lower intestine right now. I can only imagine how upsetting that must be. <laughs> Almost as upsetting as what I'm sure we're gonna see next. Oh. Oh. What the hell? That is so much worse. <laughs> it's not even speaking English anymore. Oh. What happened? Oh, okay. All right then. Uh, fish index, what do you got to say? Level four, seven foot four, 502 pounds. Perhaps we should no longer refer to our blobfish as changing as progress. This grotesque vision is abominable. And lo, where has his conscience gone? Lost, I fear, somewhere in that mass of heads protruding from his center. He no longer feels any connection with living things. Thus his once proficient linguistic skills have been filed away deep in his mind. I wish he would return to innocence, but I know his growth will persist. I have no idea how long this game actually is, but like, we're only on generation one and it's already getting too weird for me to describe. <laughs> Blobfish by default don't look particularly happy, but those ones look extra unhappy to be part of this thing. Right? Like, maybe it's because you keep using them to headbutt stuff? That's probably not all too fun. <laughs> it's like Ditto got microwaved and then thrown into a vat of acid. He doesn't even shove them inside of him anymore. It's like he's got this extra appendage, like this body just wraps around them and pulls them in. It's so strange. And speaking of strange, can we get some generation two here? Come on now. Bow down. Oh my God, what? What? I can't even see what you're attacking anymore. Level five, eight foot one, 994 pounds. Where has he found that scepter and crown? Oh no, he now thinks himself Blobfish King, ruler of the deep. He is the most powerful living thing on the planet and no mortal being could even dream of defeating him. His arrogance makes him fearless and any past dread or sense of danger has been quashed. His body is a huge heap of hundreds of Blobfish he has absorbed. What force could possibly challenge this tyrant? That's the second time they've mentioned some kind of invisible force and it's freaking me out almost as much as their laughter is. <laughs> Whack them and absorb them, you know the routine. 500 blobfish, no. I wanna say that he's happy, but it's really hard to tell. I don't think they have the muscles to smile. Or muscles in general, to be perfectly honest. 
<laughs> He's kind of just an undulating turd and it's freaking me out. We got a whole bunch of fish coming in here now. I'm curious if we whack a fish and then just kind of... No, he, he can't swim away. He, he cannot turn down a good fish whacking. Technically, he's not absorbing them, right? He's just eating them. There's one big mouth that kind of sucks them up. There we go. Now we're making some progress. 288 fish down. Oh, maybe we can whack a whole bunch of them at once. <laughs> Don't laugh about that. I want to see if we just kind of bounce around. Will they come back to life or are they down for the count? I think they're dead. We crush their little blobby skulls. Okay, that makes sense. You would be amazed how nimble this guy is for a blobfish meat balloon, right? He's just so desperately looking for food. Hold on, I'll, I'll watch another ad. We'll, we'll get some more. 423 down, 67 to go. Bow down, my tiny subject. You are all that stands between me and greatness. <laughs> well, I'm really hoping we can get to another generation and we go to land. But something's gotta change eventually. This is definitely different. What the hell? What the hell? We're under attack! No, what are those? Did I just get Caesared? Oh my god, no! No, they caught up the king! He's just a boot now! Level six, three foot three, 215 pounds. Blobfish's arrogance garnered the attention of the immortal realm, and he has been judged. Was that the nameless force that they've been talking about this entire time? Cut down to size, Blobfish seethes with rage and seeks revenge. He no longer hungers for living things. The immortal great beasts that reaped him, reaped, very important to have that E there, YouTube. Reap, like the Grim Reaper. <laughs> that reaped him are now his singular focus. Powerful as they are, these beasts are cowards and only attack in numbers when summoned by their master. They love to consume living flesh. Perhaps that is their weakness. What the hell does that even mean? Vengeance! Oh my god, 600 fish! Oh, oh, what the? What? No, he's here! They're here! Kill it! Kill it! Kill it with fire! Just, just beat, beat the hell out of it! Come on, you can do it! You're so nimble! Can we kill these things? Oh, maybe, maybe I can absorb some of these? Are Oh, if he, if he absorbs, maybe... I'm confused. Something is happening and I don't understand. Is that my seething rage? <laughs> Am I going Super Saiyan Blobfish? I just want to kill the immortals that have taken everything from me. Come back. I, I, I can't eat any of these guys. Every time I hit one, I, I, I can't eat you. It won't let me. I gotta leave it to the immortal. What kind of sense does that make? Oh. Oh, he's sleeping. Can we eat him now? Attack! We absorbed him. Okay. Farewell, kindness. <gasps> oh, what does this even mean? I can safely say when I woke up this morning, I didn't expect to play a game as a blobfish mass shaped like a shoe who's seething with rage at the immortals. So apparently I can now clock one of you guys. That will summon an immortal out. Eat it and then fall asleep, and I can hopefully absorb you. Oh, oh, and they're worth so much more, too. Ooh, okay, now we're getting somewhere. Trapping the immortals. <laughs> this game is so dumb, and I love it. With the way I edit these videos, I have no doubt that you guys probably won't be able to tell just how long this takes, but I'm after watching hundreds of ads. I've been eating immortals for half an hour now. You get six blobfish per immortal, and I need 600 blobfish to evolve. It's just ridiculous. It's so asinine. <laughs> Let me give you a dollar so that I can play this game for free, for the love of God. Now, evolve into something majestic, something that can fight back against the immortal scum. 
something that uh, kind of looks like a toothy uterus. What the hell? <laughs> Yum. Um. Oh, no, no, P put it away, put it away. Why do I have a power level? What the, oh, okay, we're just gonna punch you and eat you and my power level goes up just to scooch. Um, what? How are we still only generation one? Level seven, nine foot three, 403 pounds? Heaven help us! Our blobfish is no longer a living thing. He has tasted the flavor of immortality and desires only satisfaction for his insatiable hunger. In fact, he now sees the immortal qualities in everything around him. All the remains of his mortal past is a vestigial head. Oh yeah, he does have a little blobfishy head left. His mouth now takes center stage. With the power of a god, our old friend must be stopped before he consumes the whole world. From here, there is no return, only a choice. Proceed into the depths of evil or transcend carnal desires and become something completely different. If I ever had a choice at any point in this game, because I feel like muscly Cthulhu is strutting in on my turf, the Ancient One? Yum, that's exactly what I was thinking. Can we just punch kick him into oblivion? No, okay, we can still eat all of these little guys, but he's just hanging out. Oh, 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 he's, he's hitting us. We're, are we kind of hitting him? It's hard to tell. Maybe my power needs to reach a point where I can strike him? Ooh, that's kind of cool. So if I keep kicking and devouring his disciples and my power's at max, I should be able to land a blow. There we go. Okay, now it's making sense. <laughs> I will take you down, Ancient One. I will become the ruler of all gross things. Insatiable, bottomless hunger. Consume the Ancient One? So I actually do have a choice here. But if we eat him, are we gonna be evil? or good. This isn't very clearly outlined. <laughs> the Ancient One doesn't seem like a good guy, so eating him could make me good, but at the same time, we're also not a great guy. And if we become all powerful, don't really know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna eat him anyway. Screw it. <laughs> I just wanna see you get bigger and grosser and weirder and, uh, yeah, that fits the bill. Hail, ruler of the deep. Gross. And now I need to eat 600 of you guys. Why not, ew? <laughs> ew, no, 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 that, why the toothy butthole? <laughs> Come on now, why are you gonna be like that? Can't we just hang out, okay? Uthu. I don't know what that means. I don't I don't speak weird gross octopus thing. Level 8, 15 foot 5, 1045 pounds. Having consumed the ancient one, Blobfish is now cursed to lord over the deep sea forever as a demon god. His whole being is consumption. Nothing else matters. My poor dear Blobfish, may his tragic end at least serve as a lesson to the rest of us. Something tells me that is not gonna end up being the end. <laughs> That's definitely his rear end, but not the end of his story. I feel the need to point out that I have now seen the exact same McDonald's ad at least 50 times in a row. And you gotta wonder, like, McDonald's, why are you wasting so much money on advertising? Like, everyone has heard of McDonald's. Everyone has eaten McDonald's. I would rather put a blobfish in my butt than put McDonald's in my mouth. I only mean that if you don't get an ad for McDonald's on this video, okay? If they've given me their advertising money, then I love them, they're delicious, and ignore the comment about my gaping mutant god butthole. Um... Oh. Oh! Okay, justice? What the hell? Um, I seem to have become a blobfish warrior. Yeah, now we're talking. <laughs> so am I actually becoming God? 
I'm increasing in power, but I don't know why. What are we gonna fight? Probably McDonald's. So I decided to do a little bit of quick research into seeing what may or may not happen if we manage to take down deuces here, and it turns out we do not become the god of all gods. It's not necessarily the end of the game. No, there are other disappointing gods out there, and if we can take them all down, then we get the ultimate reward of restarting. That is what Generation 1 means. Move on to Generation 2, you become a blobfish again, you do the same things all over again, but you get to make the alternate decision. So you know what? I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Blobfish Evolution, guys. I just cannot handle any more of this. I really like the game. I gotta say, I love stuff that's hand-drawn. I love stuff that's weird. I love stuff that reminds me of Flash games, and I want more stuff like this, but for the love of God, let me give you like a dollar so that it would save me hours of watching ads. It would make it so much more fun. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.